Okay, this is my poem for those of you who might be grieving. And maybe for someone who you know who this might help. It's been one of the only ones that actually has made any sense to me. When you lose someone you love, your life becomes strange. The ground beneath you becomes fragile. Your thoughts make your eyes unsure and some dead echo drags your voice down where words have no confidence. Your heart has grown heavy with loss. And though this loss has wounded others too, no one knows what has been taken away from you when the silence of absence deepens. Flickers of guilt kindle regret for all that was left unsaid and undone. There are days when you wake up happy, again inside the fullness of life, until the moment breaks and you're thrown back onto the black tide of loss. Days when you have your heart back, you're able to function, function well until the middle of work or an encounter. Suddenly, with no warning, you're ambushed by grief. It becomes hard to trust yourself. All you can depend on now is that sorrow will remain faithful to itself. All you can depend on now is that sorrow will remain faithful to itself. More than you, it knows its way and will find the right time to pull and pull the rope of grief until that coiled hill of tears has reduced to its last drop. Gradually, you will learn acquaintance with the invisible form of your departed. Gradually, you will learn acquaintance with the invisible form of your departed. And when the work of grief is done, the wound of loss will heal and you will have learned to wean your eyes from that gap in the air and be able to enter the hearth in your soul where your loved one has awaited your return all the time. Thank you to John O'Donohue and uh, my beautiful client, you know who you are, uh, for sharing that with me, for helping me make it one more step and to surrender to sorrow, which has its own rules. Love, Deb.